Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of simplifying expressions and order of operations. This is standard 5.4F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Zoe buying quite a few things at a store and they give us this really complicated expression that actually has two different levels. Look, we have parentheses and then brackets. So you notice our parentheses are on the inside and our brackets are on the outside. So these brackets kind of serve as parentheses outside of parentheses. So let's go ahead and rewrite that here so we can kind of work with it a little bit. We're going to use our order of operations. So we've got this bracket, which is just really holding this 725 times the 2. Now you notice we've got the two parentheses 725, but there's nothing inside the parentheses that's an operation on its own. It's simply just a number, 7.25, which means we are going to use this 2 next to the parentheses. That's simply going to be multiply. That's all that signifies. So rather than 2x 7.25 or 2 dot 7.25 they're just going to use the parentheses to show multiplication same thing with this this is 2 parentheses 24 that just means 2 times 24 this also means multiplication it's just a different way of showing multiplication in fifth grade so that's why we need that brackets on the outside you don't really want parentheses stacked up on top of parentheses it gets confusing minus 10. so let's center real quick around our Order of operations, PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So we are going to deal with any parentheses first. So let's see if we can get rid of these parentheses. So really, I've got these two chunks right here. So let's see if we can do this. First, I've got 2 times 725. Let's do that right here. So that's going to be 10, that's 5, that's 14. I've got two digits upon the decimal in the factor, so I need two digits upon the decimal in my products. So that's really, I'm going to rewrite that as 1450. I'll just call it 14.5. I really don't need that zero in the hundredths place. And so let's just kind of do it one section at a time, one term at a time. So we're going to tag this other parentheses next here, the two parentheses 24. And that's simply going to be a multiplication. So I've got 14.5 plus 2 times 24. That's going to be 48 minus 10. So within the parentheses, these brackets, which are outer parentheses, you still have to follow order of operations. So you notice that within these outer parentheses, we had a smaller little expression here. I had two multiplies and an add. So I'm still going to take care of my multiplication first because here's my multiplication. That always comes first. Your addition comes down here. And so multiplication and division, those are uh, inverse operations. So if you see uh, either of those left to right, you can do either of those first. Same with addition, subtraction, they are inverse operations on the same level. So within these brackets, I had to take care of my order of operations, multiplication, multiplication. I've just got this one addition right here. Let's just go ahead and take care of that. I need 14.5 plus 48. Let's just go ahead and stack it up right there. 48 is lined up right there because that's where the decimal would go. So I've got 0.5. And then I've got 12, I've got 62.5. So really, this whole bracket simplifies down to 62.5. And then obviously I can, I don't need those brackets anymore, but we'll just keep that to remind ourselves what we did. We multiplied first with parentheses, then we use the addition. Now I need to subtract 10. And so that is going to uh, simply take away 10. And so here's going to be 52.5. And we need to make sure we um, do that correctly on our little bubble sheet here. We'll do 